Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to look at the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge 2024. We're at a, <clears throat> it opened up on November 7th. They asked that we don't post anything until they say so, and they have said we can post about the prologue. So we're going to go ahead and get going in it. I'm going to show you how I completed the prologue. There are multiple ways to do it. But let's get started. So when you load up, this is what where you'll start. You'll talk to this jingle ring forward and do everything he says. This is a simple one. Uh, you'll end up just type answer here. So there, that one's done. So that's the first part of it. And that will get you silver, I think. Silver may be the only one available on that. But where it gets interesting but where it But where it starts to get interesting is, is on the second one. So with each of these, you'll talk to, here, let's turn off other characters right now, other players. You'll talk to the NPCs and they'll go through, they'll talk to you. I turned the sound on. Hopefully you can hear it. I might have it a little too quiet, but you click on them. Amazing. You really connected all the dots like a pro. And they, they talk to you. So that's not the full conversation you'll have with them. You'll have a different conversation. But then once you get to Elf Connect. Now, this is something new I've been running into. And like if we go to Click. inspect, I'm going to end up console. pulling up some errors and yesterday whenever I was running into this it wasn't allowing me to do anything so what I did to fix it was I just reloaded it and now I don't get it when I go to Elf Connect so Elf Connect is cool it gives you these word lists and you're supposed to go in and just complete them. So you're looking for four groups of four that have something similar. And I'll, I'll show you this first part. In my, and, and this is something I'm going to go and watch other people's videos. I couldn't get the high score, which to get gold for this challenge, you have to beat the high score. But at the way it is currently, if you just play the game as intended, you, you can only get a max of like was it 12, 1200? So you can't even get close to 50,000. But to get gold, you have to get there. And we'll move to that in a second, but I couldn't figure out a way to get it on this first set of words. So let's just go through these first set of words like normal, and then I'll show you how I got it on the second set. So we'll do reindeer. Things that go on a tree. what might be in the sleigh and see jingle bells could be on that because they're got jingle bells are on the sleigh but it didn't quite match what they were looking for and then movies so we get to round four now what I did to get gold is I went in and you go here inspect sources and you can see over here I already have overrides and I've already overrode it but what I did is inside of we'll just go to the pages again we're in sources just the standard page 
and then you can see based on what you highlight what you're looking at and we want this one round two and I have already overrode this one like I mentioned so we're going to do control F to find and we're just going to look for score there's 29 of them we'll go up because I know it's closer to the end here what we need and there it is right there so by default this section of code here is just 100 I changed it to a hundred thousand so now that when I go through and complete this see this one and see this is this is kind of the hang-up I've run into a couple times now I have overridden this code to a hundred thousand but it's not giving me a hundred thousand so what I do is just save the code I just saved it in my downloads I should have done something better then what we'll do is we'll close it and reload it go through this first part again Hopefully it's loaded the modified code now. Click. Uh. Click. Click. And there we go. So I have a hundred thousand four hundred. So that got me gold for that. That one is pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and close out of that because I just want to show you the other one. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and load it up with what again the, the same thing. I you I overrode some of the code on it. So this is the next section, Elfminder. And this a real pickle is the level you have to complete to get gold. All these ones that are green, once you complete them, you get silver. So let's just look at a sandy start. So the default code will not allow you to have this many springs. So let's just treat it as if I can only have two springs because that is the limit. And let's just complete this puzzle. So, we'll just draw a path to... The object is to f get both boxes and get to the finish line after you collect both boxes. And then you have a leaderboard, which I was on top 10 before too long. See if I still am for Evil Boss. Nope. So, people have been spending a little more time on it. I got to top 10 and moved on, but... Let's go ahead and play again. I just want to show you so you can add springs. You can add tunnels. And again, the goal is to get to all all the crates and move on. So the next level, once I figured out how to unlock all of the springs, which I'll show you in just a minute, I started going back through all of them and seeing if I could speed up my time a little bit. So this double spring here is something we'll talk about a little bit later, but let's go ahead and just look at what using multiple springs looks like. So it just jumps even more all over the place. 
Now that last jump was a little tricky. And again, everybody's beat my top score I had. So now let's go back to main menu. So that is it. Get through all of the green and you're good. Now this a real pickle <coughs> is the one a lot of people have been struggling with because it's the one where you do have to go in and change something. So let, let's look at what I changed first. <coughs> and just like with the previous game, you'll inspect it, go to sources, and again, it'll highlight when you get to the proper code. We want index, and then game two is what we changed. And as you see, it automatically hopped us over to my override. So let's find where I changed some stuff. So all I did was I just commented out a bunch of code. All this code here. And let's see if I can explain exactly what I commented out. So to unlock just being able to use unlimited number of springs, I just needed to comment out this if statement here these three or four lines that just commenting that section out there told it if existing springs is two then remove the oldest and place the new one where you're clicking I didn't do that commenting this out allows you to place all the springs as you see I have all the springs now this top part here that I had to comment out this makes it where I can place the springs wherever I want by default I couldn't place a spring here or here I believe for some reason it wouldn't let me place springs in those locations and most of the time it won't let you place them next to rocks every once in a while it would but the way I've changed it to where it'll let me place springs anywhere like let's see watch I can put a spring in the middle of a rock now by default you couldn't so commenting out all of these entity types that you know it's a check that if there's an entity here then don't allow the the spring to be placed so I did that let's go and watch this go and I completed it now one cool thing I did notice is they expect you to do this so this is little in the console why can't I hold all these springs and then an ASCII art of a, a guy holding a bunch of springs so I thought that was a real cool add-on there okay so the next trick because that alone wouldn't allow you to complete this level and you can complete this level there have been people that have done it and I haven't figured it out I kinda I got my gold and I moved on to the next but you can complete this level without changing these settings I believe and without without changing any of these settings as default but one trick is, is this diagonal jump so let's see if I erase this path here and then draw it back I think it'll mess up now yep see now it jumps back up to the top and it'll keep going through that loop so the trick here and I think a lot of people have run into this they they put the double spring you need the double spring for it to jump kind of crazy 
but the trick here is you have to draw this path first. The very first thing you do is draw this path. Otherwise, this double spring will probably take you somewhere else. So then we'll put our springs down. I've done this a few times, so I'm just doing my springs in all the same spots I normally do. Because the scoring is based on how many of these red paths you have. It, don't, it doesn't, from what I can tell, it doesn't really care about how many springs you have. But it's how many of the red paths, how fast you go. And there was one other thing. But now, since we put this first, when we go again, it should take this this double spring down to here. And there it goes. Completed. So that that is how I got through the prologue. I'm I'd be very interested to see how y'all got through it, to see other tricks and tips that have gone through. So hit hit it up in the description, link a video you made or just description you made. I'm I'm in the Discord a little bit for it. I have I don't check it super often. I'm usually in my own Discord, which link down in the description if you want to hang out there. But yeah, let me know how you got through all of these. I wanna I wanna know all the different tricks and tips that people have done to get through this. I want to see a video of getting through this last level without using, uh, without modifying the code, like I know some people have done. So, yeah, let us know. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.